HTTV with Ellingworth and Gregory. Katja, thanks for joining us. How delighted are you and the team with the win against Bristol City? I think it was a very important uh, win for us because the games before we played very good but don't take the three points, so it was an important win for us. Tomorrow's match is the second game for you in seven days. How different is that to Germany? You're getting used to the busy championship schedule. Yes, uh, different to Germany, but um, yeah, now I'm a lot of time here, so I know this that we have uh, three games in a row, and um, yeah, I feel good, so we can play tomorrow, and uh, I hope we have a good game for the team. Was it hard for you when you had three games in seven days before to recover your mind and your body? No, it's okay. We have uh, good stuff. So good physios, uh, they prepare us good for the next game. And um, yeah, we are ready. Obviously, you've settled in quite well at Huddersfield Town. You're top scorer at the club so far. Have you found the physicality the most difficult thing, the, that the defenders are constantly kind of trying to push you around and, and stop you from getting the ball? I'm happy that I'm uh, yeah the best scorer in the moment for the team, um, but I hope uh, I make now uh, more goals uh, for the team to help uh, that we uh, um, yeah stay in the table on the top, and uh, yeah I hope uh, that the next game is also good for us and for me and uh, to score more goals. You scored another goal with your head. I remember the start of the season. You were telling me you you don't normally score goals with your head. Is that? Something you've you've adapted your game this year while you've been in England. Yeah, um, for me it's uh, also a surprise that I, I score a lot of uh, goals with my head. But yeah, when I can keep this uh, uh, to score with my head, it's good um, because I'm not uh, the tallest uh, guy. But uh, yeah, I can uh, jump very high, so um, that's good. Uh, that not everyone uh, I think that I can. Uh, Make good headers. How happy were you to see Naki on the score sheet as well? He's been he had a little goal drought before, so how happy is a team and for yourself as well? Yeah, it's also good that uh, Naki scored because uh, yeah, when you are a striker, you need uh, goals to yeah, have a good feeling on the pitch, and uh, yeah, this goal uh, help us to win this game. So we are everyone is happy that uh, Naki scored also. It's Burton Albion tomorrow. What do you expect from that game? I think uh, it's also uh, again a very hard game for us because uh, we play uh, away and uh, a team was uh, need also the points. But uh, yeah, we we win this uh, last game, so we have a good run now, and uh, we hope that we can uh, yeah win this next game. Obviously, you go to the Pirelli Stadium, which is a lot smaller than some of the games you've played in this season that the ground's quite small and quite tight in does that make it harder for the players no I think uh, yeah. there's a stadium like uh, everyone um, maybe the the feeling or the crowd is a little bit different there but um, yeah we go to Burton to win there and yeah only this is in my head how important is it to get the away form back on track yeah I think uh, for us it's important that we take also three points away because uh, we cannot only win games home so um, we go to Burton to win this game and uh, to play a good game there Just finally towards the end of the Bristol City match the fans got right behind you with, with, the, with the added time urging you forwards how important have they been home and away this year? Yeah, I say a lot. Um, it's very important for this young team uh, to have the supporters behind us uh, was again a fantastic uh, crowd and uh, yeah, I hope uh, the next games, a lot of uh, people come uh, to stay behind us and um, yeah, give us a good feeling on the pitch.